Hi, I'm going to tell you more about the Spanish cuisine. Spain is the olive oil world's largest producer. They also produce tomatoes, onions, potatoes, nuts, and wine and grapes. As you can see on the picture, they, they produce all this food. Let me tell you more about what they eat. For breakfast and desayuno, it's served between 7 and 12. People in Spain are very strict with their eating times and they really stick to them. For breakfast, they have a tostada con tomato, uh, aceite y jamón ibérico, which is bread, artisan bread with olive oil, Iberian ham, and tomato. They drink café cortado, coffee with milk, and fresh juice. For meal, La comida, they serve the food from two to five, and employees, everybody's, everything is closed in Spain because they really respect their time to go and eat. They go home, they eat, and sometimes they um, take a siesta. I went to Spain, and when I was there, that was my time to take a nap which was difficult at the beginning, but then you get used to it. So they have two meals for lunch. They start with a um, uh, light meal and then uh, something a little bit stronger, heavier. For, um, for the first meal, they, they like to, they really enjoy gazpacho or salmorejo, which is a soup made of tomatoes, a lot of good tomatoes with olive oil and they add toppings like boiled egg, bread again, and Iberian ham. After that, they have tapas, paella, which is the most known food from Spain, rice and, and seafood. This one, gamba salajillo, which is my favorite, is shrimp seasoned with olive oil, herbs, and bread. The bread is very special, Pan de Pueblo, and it's very good. They really look for quality bread in their meals. After that, many, pe um, <coughs> many people does eat la merienda, la merienda dessert. They are very influenced for the middle, by the Middle Eastern um, culture. They eat their pastries like this bacalaua, I love bacalaua, and cafe cortado again, coffee, churros with chocolate milk, which is delicious. Not all people that speak merienda, um, the family I stay with, they did. So it all depends on the on their family. For dinner, la cena, they, they serve it from 8 to 11, which is the heaviest meal of the day. Um, and it's very late, as you can see, from 8 to 11. I think Spain at night is live. You see people, a lot of people in the streets in the night, a lot of people gathering, eating meals. Um, I really enjoy that from Spain. The people is very social, very open, very um, about conversations, uh, about getting together. So this is what they have. Again, they have an entry first, which is usually something small. They can have one of these dishes. Um, this one is cazuela de mariscos, which is seafood seasoned again with olive oil. This is the best known olive season. Another tapa. <clears throat> this is um, tomato, tomate alineado. Tomato seasoned with olive oil, the, the bread, pan de pueblo, <clears throat> tortilla de patatas which is um, a cake made with potatoes and eggs, and ensaladilla, which is salad. 
So as you can see, they eat in small portions. They eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of olive oil, a lot of seafood and and meats too. But uh, um, I I witness a lot of seafood, especially. The dietary guidelines, what is recommended from the pyramid food is um, is this consumption. They consume daily whole grain cereals and products, fruits, vegetables, olive oil, and dairy products. Weekly, they consume fish, poultry, processed nuts, potatoes, eggs, red meat, and meat products. And occasionally, like I told you, sweets, snacks. And, and sweetened beverages. Now let's see. Um, the life expectancy in Spain is for females. Uh, it was 80 years back on 1990, and on 220, two, 2017, it went up to 85.8 years. And as you can see, it's increasing. And if you compare it to the life expectancy in the United States, um, people from Spain live longer, as you can see. And this is according to uh, the Health Data Organization. And lastly, I just wanted to show you the, the five main causes of death in Spain. The number one is heart disease. Um, the number which is 14%, then it's Alzheimer, Al Alzheimer and dementia, 13%, which is different. Um, strokes, it's 7%, and, and COOPD is 6.9%, and then lung cancer, because they do smoke a lot, 6%. So if you compare them to the United States, you can see that heart disease is the same, but then, then uh, cancer accidents in the United States, the number four is the same. Uh, so you can see that in the United States, um, we have also, the other one is diabetes, it's one of the 10 causes in the United States, and it's not in Spain, because again, they don't consume a lot of sugar. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it.